Is McDonald's in Europe healthier than McDonald's in the United States? Well, let's see. All right, we have McDonald's fries in the U.S. versus McDonald's fries in the United Kingdom. And look at all these crazy ingredients. What is pyrophosphate? And citric acid, that sounds scary. And what about dimethylpolysilane? I, I don't even know how to pronounce that. To where in the United Kingdom, it's just potatoes, vegetable oil, sunflower seed, rape seed. That actually sounds kind of bad. Dextrose fried in non-hydronated vegetable oil. Salt is added after cooking. That seems so much safer, doesn't it? Well, probably not in reality. The fact of the matter is, even these ingredients list is really just the United States being stricter with how they have to inform consumers about the ingredients. But I want to point you out to something else. Who actually is providing this information? Food Babe. Who is Food Babe? Food Babe is an American blogger and critic of the food industry. And what is Food Babe mostly known for? Pushing pseudoscience. She has absolutely no formal training in nutrition and knows absolutely nothing about it. And one of her favorite things is if you can't pronounce it, you shouldn't eat it. So any chemical names like that, she says you shouldn't eat it. She probably thinks dihydrogen monoxide is poison and going to kill you. But if you know what dihydrogen monoxide is, you know why her fear of chemical names is really, really dumb. But is food in Europe healthier and safer than it is in the United States of America? How do we tell about this? Well, I've got one way to measure it. The Global Food Security Index goes through many different metrics for food, access, health, safety, affordability, and many other things. And we can compare it to USA versus European countries. Okay, so in overall score, <gasps> USA's 13th, it's behind a lot of European countries. Well, uh, oh, wait a minute. We actually have a row here for quality and safety, and the United States actually scores very, very high. We have an 88.8. .8. In fact, in this right here, the only country that actually scores higher in safety is Canada and Denmark, which ranks below us in overall. Now, what does this mean? It means that American food quality and safety is among the best in the world. Now, we do fall short in a few other other categories, but food safety is not one of them. And let's look at some of the lower ranked countries as well. So for starters, even in the overall metric, like we're ahead of Denmark, Czech Republic, Belgium, Germany, Spain, Poland, Italy, several different European countries. So overall, United States food quality and everything else is actually pretty darn high. It's among the best in the world. We're not the best at everything, of course, and that's okay. We don't have to be the best at everything. But are there differences in how Europe regulates their food and how America regulates their food? Of course there is, but you're probably not going to like this. The U.S. probably has a more scientific and evidence-based approach for their food regulation. We look at foods and we ask, what is the scientific probability of this causing health concerns for Americans? And they regulate based on that, where Europe doesn't always do it that way. For example, they often ban things like GMOs, genetically modified organisms, which have been proven time and time again to not actually be dangerous. However, because of political fear-mongering, they go ahead and ban it anyways. And there's other things, like you've probably seen people talking about how different food dyes in America are banned in Europe. Well, Europe actually has more food dyes that are banned in the United States than vice versa. But you don't want to hear that. At the end of the day, here's the thing. Food in America and food in Europe is pretty much equally as safe. It's really not a big enough difference to really care. And I want to point this out because this is actually really important. McDonald's food is not inherently unhealthy. McDonald's food is perfectly fine. Like most foods, in moderation, McDonald's is perfectly fine and is not going to cause you any health problems. When it becomes a problem is when you overconsume that food, and especially if you don't get enough proper exercise and just daily activity. And you can eat McDonald's and be perfectly healthy. 
And this is true in the United States of America, just like it is in Europe. And here's the thing. Enjoy your food. McDonald's is McDonald's, though. The differences in McDonald's in America and the difference in Europe is mostly going to be the menu items because they have a few localized things for whatever country they're in because that's who they're trying to sell the food to.